So I think I want to I want to start off strong. I want to get right into the action in today's episode. Um, the first thing that I need to do, my my first mission, is to go to the um, location. So if you watched episode one, I think you probably saw the location for the build. And uh, if you didn't, I'm going to show it to you right now. It's not too far from here. It's pretty close by, I would say. And in between episodes as well, as you can see right here, I built this beautiful path that connects me over to the build site. Oh, uh oh. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just pull it. <laughs> I'll get a bed out once we once it gets dark. But I put in this this path right here. It's honestly, it's a bit of an eyesore. You know, like let's let's not let's not mince words. Let's call it what it is. It's a bit of an eyesore. But it's really practical because um, it, even though I kind of know where I'm building and I know how to get there, this is a really good way for me to just kind of tune on autopilot as I'm commuting from the village over to the build site and back and forth, which I'm sure I'm, you know, I'm going to have to do like a thousand times before this build's over. So it's important that I can have just a really easy and consistent way to get from point A to point B. And this allows me to do that. You know, it just allows me to kind of uh, not have to think and navigate. Um when I'm riding my horse, and probably more often than not donkeys um, between the locations. So you can just see it rendering in the distance there. It's that hill that we scouted in episode one. Let's take a look here. It's got this really nice cliff face. You can see it right there, that just really sheer cliff face, um, which I'm really excited to kind of place, to sort of perch the build right on the edge. So it's all going to be located kind of on this plateau. This hill right here being basically the peak of the plateau and every everything is going to be kind of located in and around this hill. So it's kind of hard to see from this angle but you can kind of make out some of the edges. So there's an edge right there and there's an edge um, all along this kind of north side here where you can kind of see the the altitude drop pretty significantly from there to there. So this whole area is kind of a, a mesa, if you will. And I'm going to be putting the the whole palace at about this altitude, probably roughly about where I'm standing right now. So I'm not going to lie to you. There's probably going to be a couple of episodes where there's a bit of a floating palace before I get the terraining done, before I put in some of the supports and, and the rest of the exterior decoration. But it'll be a very pretty floating palace nonetheless, and it's going to sit at about this, this Y level here. So... Now that we're here, um, before I can start building anything, I'm not going to worry too much about terraforming, but I do have to take down probably five layers of this hill, um, which shouldn't be too much. But, you know, terraforming without a beacon, I think, always t ends up taking longer than I expect it to. Um, and I also have to take out some of these trees. So I'm going to get to work. I'm going to throw in some time-lapse footage for you guys, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And once I'm done, hopefully I can maybe start throwing down some blocks. We'll see. We'll find out. Who knows? See you in a bit. <laughs> I went ahead and brought everything I'm going to need for the first part of the build. It took a while to get it all kind of shut, uh, sort of shuttled down here. Um, I think they're all in this chest. But this is going to be the first part of the build. I'm, I'm not going to do the whole castle all at once. I'm going to kind of take it one piece at a time. Um, and so I'm going to start with this kind of leftmost piece of the build. It's kind of a, I don't know, I'd call it kind of a tower with a copper dome on top. So I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to get started. I'm, I'm ready for it. I've been ready for a few days to start this build, so I'm really excited to do this. Let's get started. Let's see, uh, you, know, you know, let's see how it turns out. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. And uh, with that, uh, let's do this.
out the progress so far. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you've got a good idea of it. You watch the replay. I, I've taken to really loving this view right about from here. Just the kind of silhouette of the build right there on the skyline. I think it's going to it's gonna look great as I kind of fill in all the pieces and it expands kind of in that direction. Uh, but, but let's get closer. Let's go up on the hill and take a look at what we've done so far. So this is... I'm hoping that this will be the place where you basically kind of enter the rest of the palace. You come up here through this big grand staircase and then you enter the palace in this direction. Um, and I think it's, yeah, this is actually, I love this staircase, I'll be honest. I think there needs to be a, a trapdoor there. Let's see if we can probably add one. Probably have one right here. Perfect. Needs to be a trapdoor right there. Okay. I like this method of creating staircases of just being really maximalist with the uh, with the trapdoors. And, you know, it works for lots of different color palettes, of course, and this is just uh, one of them. Um, and you can see why. I mean, this is really... This actually, I think, is the bulk of the copper for the build. I'm not going to be using too much beyond what we've used so far. But I love the way that it's turned out. I think the contrast, you know, between the yellow and the uh, the teal color of the oxidized copper goes pretty well. I do wish this gradient was a little bit different. Um, I think it's a little bit sharp between the yellow terracotta and the yellow wool. But you know, I'm not I'm not in the business of overthinking things. You know, I'm not in the business of kind of spending too much time really sweating about every little every little detail of the color palette. And I think uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so this is it. So we're gonna keep going here. I mean, we are by no by no means close to being done. This is just a just a start, really. And uh, we're gonna continue in with this, as you can see here, <laughs> this kind of teal piece that I just started at the edge, um, but didn't continue continue off in that direction. So that's where we're gonna pick up. Um, I do have a little bit of work to do before I do that, which is I need to bring all the material to the next part of the build and sort of import them to this area here, which is uh, looking pretty picked over because I used most of it to build that. So I'm going to import all the uh, all the materials. I'm going to uh, get get started working and hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get the next piece knocked out. So see you after that. You probably noticed in that video that, uh, or in that uh, cinematic, um, that I, I, I kind of skipped a part, and that's just because uh, I lost some replay footage due to a um, kind of a computer crash in the middle of recording, unfortunately. Um, so what I decided to do instead was to include the replay footage for the next part of the build. So anyway, at the end of the day, unfortunate replay mod issues aside. Uh, we've made tons and tons of progress in the build, so I'm going to just inch in here and we should slowly see it render in. Oh, it looks like it's starting. There we go. I just, I don't know what it is, but I really love the view of this palace when it's just kind of partially rendered in like that. If we get a little bit closer, you'll see all the colors kind of slowly fade in. So let's take a look inside. I think um, the last time I showed you a tour was just of that uh, yellow part. So why don't we go in, in over there? You can see my beautiful grand staircases that I've installed. These are just kind of a, <laughs> a temporary measure to to give me a way to get in, in and out of the building without, you know, having to 
ball a thousand feet or ender pearl in every single time. So this is kind of the main entrance right here. I mean, this is going to be kind of a, a bigger porch, a bigger portico, um, but this is intended to be the main entrance. Maybe I can take a couple steps back here. Um, I think it's a pretty nice design. I especially like this balcony up here. Uh, I think it's kind of a cool, cool blend between the trap door and the signs and the stairs. It's a, it's a nice area. So this is the main entrance and we're going to come in and we have this kind of nice warped area. Um, this little nook is kind of closed off for the rest of the palace. I think I want to use this uh, to in put in a staircase and kind of have it lead down to some dungeons or some just um, underground parts of the parts of the mansion or the, the palace, I guess. And um, then we have our, our beautiful staircase that we built a moment ago. I love hearing it kind of clink. Now, this is kind of a, just a big passageway. We're sitting on top of both the main entrance we just walked under, and then there's also this kind of stone arch here that's uh, more of a decorative kind of structure. There's no way to kind of get inside through there. But, but um, yeah, my plan for this area when it comes to interior design is to put lots of plants, lots of flowers, and just kind of have this be a very open and, and breezy space. And I'll also kind of install a way to get up into the balcony, because right now it's it's not very practical. Um, I can maybe use a little bit of scaffolding to show you what it looks like. Um, so this is a really nice view of, of both villages here. We've got the, the north village that way, and then this way we've got the south village. So great views. Um, but let's let's keep going. Let's keep taking a look. There's lots to see. So this is kind of the red part, if you will, is going to be the main structure. So through this partially built gateway here, we're going to have kind of the main uh, like residential or kind of housing area. That's where I'm going to put my storage. That's where we're going to have an actual base. Um, this is the front kind of um, I don't really know what to call it, but the front kind of piece that's protruding. Um, and I've got something really special here. You're probably looking at this round column and wondering what it is and it actually is a courtyard so it's a very small very cute courtyard that that is open air and if we you know if we take a look like so the the original palace that i'm using as inspiration for this build does have this or as far as i can tell it has this kind of open piece i don't know if it's a courtyard but just looking at the exterior there's kind of an open section in the middle and i wanted to mimic that but i didn't have a lot of room so this is as pretty much as good as I could get it without messing up the roof that surrounds this. Um, it looks like it's about to be nighttime. I can probably sleep. So I'm, you know, going to add more detail. We're going to add windows. It's going to look pretty great when it's finished. I also want to add maybe a small kind of garden in here so that you can have something to look down on from the second floor. I don't really know what my plan is for this space, but I think this would make a really nice, maybe even like a bedroom or like a, um, I don't know, kind of like a dining area. Now, the one space that I definitely know what I'm going to do with it is this way. So it's this kind of orange part in the front. It's kind of an awkward shaped room, but the colors for me, I, I really just, I want to make this into a library. When I look at this space, I feel like it would work really well to have like a two story, um, like bookshelves and some ladders that can help you climb the two stories. All of those sorts of things. I think that's going to look great in here. It just feels very cozy. You know, just the, the palette, uh, the very warm brown palette feels very cozy. So I think um, I think this is going to make a great library type space. And, you know, another kind of design comment. Um, each of these rooms kind of comes with their own original floor design. I kept the design simple. So there's not a lot of depth or height variation. They're all pretty flat. And they're made from, you know, in this case, we've got some mushroom block, we've got some, we've got some granite. So I wouldn't say this is a particularly complicated design. It's just something that makes it visually interesting for the eyes, um, kind of gives you something to think about without it being really overbearing in terms of color, in terms of pattern. Um, and everyone kind of comes with a unique sort of structure. So this one is a little bit different. It's got some spruce logs, terracotta brick, and up here is a little bit more simple. It's just the spruce logs and the brick. So they all kind of have the same palette. Um, but just some slightly different variations on that. So let's go outside. I want to get one more kind of exterior view, or we'll just head outside to chat a little bit about the design and where we're going to go from here. So by the way, I just want to say, if you are liking this video, if you're liking the progress and all the cinematic footage of this build, uh, subscribe because it really helps out the channel. Like the video if you're enjoying what you're seeing. Um, it, it really does mean a lot because it kind of, it, you know, it's encouraging as, as a creator. I can kind of um, get some feedback too, leave, leave comments if you're interested in that sort of thing. But um, yeah, so 
I'm thrilled with the progress we've made in this episode. We haven't completed the, the first phase of the exterior, and you know, I didn't plan to because it's a long project. I think in total, I, I want to say I spent um, three days building this um, in sort of three sort of separate sessions that I did over three days, and I'm probably going to need maybe one or two more to finish the last piece. So there's one final piece in the back. Like I said at the beginning, I'm, I'm starting to build it, but I haven't, I haven't finished it yet. And once we're done with that, we'll have the floors and we'll have the walls. We won't have much more than that because there's no interior to come along with it. But one step at a time. That really is the process when, you're, when we're working on mega builds like this. Just one step at a time. And the next step is to fill that in. So... I'm going to work on that and uh, we're going to, you know, work on that. We're going to put it in the next episode and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you can look forward to it like I do. I'm keeping it kind of a surprise. I'm not going to tell you too much, but there's definitely going to be a very interesting component to it. And it's really going to tie the whole build together. So I hope you're looking forward to that like I am. Um, and yeah, until then, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, you know, leave a comment, subscribe. Always appreciated. And I hope you have a great week.